<clears throat> and now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. People from the world, it's Bear here, your fairy European book YouTuber, and let's talk once again about illustration rares. So, I want to make my point. Um, we'll go over things I've already said, and we'll go over about what's going on out there on the internet, on the Pokemon market, when it comes to illustration rares. So, if you've been around YouTube lately, I think it's been more than a week now, probably about a month even, uh, that you'll find a bunch of illustration rares in the thumbnail of your favorite PokeTuber on um, newer PokeTuber like myself. There's some uh, talking just about the market in general, doing market updates, and they all talk about illustration rares. They all talk about how they're going higher. They have been going higher. And some of them uh, actually speculate on the fact that some of them, some of the are underrated. That's your opinion. Now, what, what, what are the facts? What's happening? So, just got out of the shower, went to the beach today. Finally, it's crazy hot, boiling hot. Uh, 35 Celsius here, um, probably right about 100 Fahrenheit, maybe a bit below 100 Fahrenheit. Uh, but humidity is crazy. Um, just... It, where I live, it's basically up until 100 years ago, used to be a swamp. So probably kind of like Florida vibes, all that southeast uh, humidity. Uh, it's it's not it's not it's not nice. Um, anyways, what what's going on with these illustration rares? What what's the rant about? Um, so if you've been around the channel, you know how I've 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 been and I am a fan of illustration rares. I'm a fan of those who are. In my opinion, and uh, it turned out not to be my opinion only, uh, underrated by the market. Those who, for some reasons, were cheap. Um, a good example would be the Groudon. Uh, I, I made multiple videos about the Groudons. There's a recent one where I talked about how I saw that it was underrated. I'll leave you popping up here somewhere on the screen. Uh, check it out if you want after this, obviously. Uh, stay. Get, get. I need your watch time, so please uh, watch it. Uh, watch all my videos, just have them play in the background. Um, seriously though, um, it, 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 back in the days, I bought it for 23 euros shipped. I'm selling my last copies. Uh, I sold one yesterday for 40, 55 euros. Oh, one today is in someone's uh, basket, someone's cart. And uh, I sold uh, Evitol. Let's talk about Evitol from Paradox, right? Um, the other day I saw a guy on YouTube mentioning so that's a 16 to 17 dollar card i'll check it out i'll probably have it on the screen it should be still 16 15 may at most uh, i mean at least um, and uh, this guy was basically saying how this card in his opinion which is fine i respect it uh, i don't share it but i respect it was underrated and uh, so i mentioned you know uh, this card is trading for uh, 17 dollars i think it's worth 20 dollars so i'm aware of TCG player fees, right? 13%, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, uh, uh, the math ain't math. Um, first of all, and then, you know, mention a card is underrated with such a small margin. Like, do I think it's underrated? You will talk about $15? No, I think it's fa fairly priced uh, considering the Steelix, which I sold yesterday. Uh, I'll make a video, by the way, on uh, the flips that I've made on singles. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if, if something that you want to see. Uh, I'll probably title something fancy. Um, how I made uh, 50, 69 percent, 69,000 um, percent with Pokemon singles. Um, watch me learn, pay them, buy my course, that kind of crap. But yeah, uh, I, I, that's on in the making. I need to sell my last uh, cards before I make it, obviously, because blah, blah, blah. It's, it's easy to talk to do market updates, which obviously they're they're helpful. Some of them are helpful. Um, but uh, I want to have a skin in the game, show you how I did it, show you, we'll show you. And in the video I mentioned uh, previously, uh, I did say some of the things, some of the, the variables I take into consideration before I make this place. Um, so, you know, it's as I talked in one of the best performing videos of the channel, which I, I'm happy I did well, um, 
it's titled the next best thing uh, which obviously I will leave up up because I need to watch time um, so in that video I was referring to how if someone is the spotlight is on something Pokemon card illustration rares there's not gonna be plays anymore um, they may, they might be uh, hardly uh, I don't see any place right now I and I watch the market every day I don't see any place right now um, I think the mo the illustration rares are all fairly priced at least for the short term so I'm talking a month at most um, we've seen crazy spikes uh, or some cards gain over 100% so over double in price and the last month so it, it's it's a it's it's a profit taking phase right now think about me I bought them at 20 even though like the Groudon for instance it's 50 55 dollar car euro whatever you want pound yen uh, lira whatever you want 55 right um, so if you like me bought it at 20, 20 let's say 25 but even 30 you're happy you're selling right um, and then there's this psychological thing which is um, inherited in human behavior that when something becomes expensive people want it and uh, mathematically obviously that is reflected in the fact that uh, you know demand is also um, a function of price right um, so for some reason at some point when something becomes expensive everyone wants it people buying uh, evolving skies at seven hundred dollars they're fine buying it they want it it's if you you know and if you if we don't take a look if you only think about the psychology behind it you know it feels good if you're a person if you're a human being and you have this viable item which is was printed to oblivion uh, there's probably still thousands of evolving skies boxes out there in the market but you know you have this piece of paper this piece of cardboard that is seven hundred dollars and you're happy about it because you paid for it you were you could afford it um, and you're just happy about it that's how people behave so basically I mean I would definitely go check out that that video you know the next best thing and uh, that's what's happening in the market right now everyone is focused if, if every day will pop up a video about illustration rares the market is saturated they realized the play uh, the play was simply in paradox rift uh, poly evolved was already uh, well priced um, I did see a, a I did see a play on Terminator which I was tempted to take and I didn't it would have turned out well about a 40 to 50 percent profit I, I could have made uh, but you know could have should have would have blah 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 if and if and buts uh, won't take you anywhere so Poly Evolve was priced it was um, older it was fairly priced um, the play was in paradox uh, because people either weren't aware or didn't realize I'm sure many collectors weren't aware the f the pull rates right which are obviously everyone is talking about it now oh the pull rates for this SIR for this set well the pull rates for illustration rares are all the same just differs from the number you know the number of IRs in a set which also makes it hard to pull a specific one blah 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 well you did your homework you're just a, a month late where you buying Groudon in the 20s where were you uh, or uh, Steelix Steelix was another play was that I made which I'll talk about in the, the video um, it was at ten dollars for a month or two um, and uh, you know it's 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 a freaking Steelix man how could you not see it? Uh, Evotel was different. So Evotel was in the five dollar, six, five to six dollar range. And um, there's more to it. Again, in that video, uh, the first video I mentioned, I I explained some of the things I look at. Not only what card it is, I explained some of the variables I look at. So it, it would take us. You know, I'm ranting. I'm I mean, I'm even going out of the topic of the video. But you know, it, 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 in simple terms, guys. If you want to make plays, and everyone is talking about a you know a specific part of the of the TCG, and you think you can make plays in that side of TCG, blink blink illustration rares, you won't be able to because if everyone is talking about it, it will be fairly priced. Uh, so you need to basically speculate the fact that someone else is dumber than you, and in the future will pay more than you pay today, which could happen. It happened for me. 
But obviously, if you buy at some these prices, you're taking arguably a larger risk, a bigger risk. If you if you're willing to take it, that's fine. But if right now, you may look for the next best thing. So now the question obviously would be Barrett, where is the next best thing? Well, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to look for a place. Um, one of the play, I'll, I'll say it. And Pokios talked about it. I agree. I bought one. Um, and it could drop a bit lower. There's some downside to that play, um, which is why I only bought one. Uh, it's uh, the Charizard from Obsidian. Um, at below $40, if you look at the chart, I'll pop it up, the, the price chart. Uh, it's an interesting chart. You'll see it going down, down, down. And it's stabilized. And the problem with that card, there's so many out there uh, because pull rates were easy uh, for, for, for SIR in that set. And uh, because there's not many. Uh, but it's a Charizard, you know, you have cons and you have pros, you got to balance them out and uh, make decisions based on those. It's it's much more complicated than that. I, can, I, I, I can't, it's not my nature to say that's that's card to buy, buy it. First of all, because I'm not a financial advisor. Second of all, because um, I would be lying to you and myself because I wouldn't be telling you the whole story. But at the end of the day, just look where everyone else is looking. Um, I would also start to look um, not in the SMV era, perhaps not look into English, just look where no one else is looking and maybe you'll find some place. Thanks guys, appreciate you watching. Stay tuned, there's pretty cool stuff coming in the channel. There's, I'm gonna go live Sunday, this Sunday, 20, 20 something, 21st, 22nd. Uh, we're talking about the market with you guys, take the answers, uh, we'll, we'll look at the market, we'll use the bot. Uh, well, some cool stuff so stay tuned for that and uh, if you enjoyed it subscribe if you didn't sorry i wasted your time thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one